Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today, I'm going to be making some final preparations before heading to Salmando to talk to Joseph and getting the Mithril. Now, um, before I go there, though, I want to head over to Boff's, because there's something I want to get while I'm over there. And, uh, as someone said, it's the town straight to the east there. So, um, instead of taking the airship, I'm just going to walk north clockwise around the mountains there, and, uh, I might demonstrate some random battles along the way, since there's a little more variety in the enemies now. So, let's go! Okay, that was just an enemy, uh, Vampire Thorns. Uh, they're just like a combination of, uh, they look like leg eaters, but they can poison you like the hornets. And they have 20 HP, they're nothing to worry about, so let's just keep going then. Who's riding Sid's airship anyway? I mean, who has the money to go anywhere from town to town like that? Eh, whatever. Okay, here's a new enemy, Green Goblin. Uh, not to be confused with the Green Goblin from the Spider-Man movies. This one is not nearly as challenging. Just have uh, Maria cast Fire 2 on everyone, and she should be able to kill most of them. This is why we got Fire up to level 2, so that way we can just wipe these enemies out very quickly, because Goblins and Green Goblins give, uh, well, more gold than just about anyone else at this point in time. So, there you go. And uh, one thing about Green Goblins, they have an attack called Bow, simply. Uh, it can attack you even if you're in the back row, and it deals a considerable amount of damage for this point in the game. So, um, you know, you want to kill them as quickly as possible. So, hmm, that must be the warship they were talking about. Too bad we can't get at it. Okay, here's another new enemy, Soldier. They have that mithril equipment that uh, Hilda was talking about. So, now I could just kill him in one round by casting fire, but instead I want to use my physical attacks because they're not going to do anything to him for the most part. And um, this is sort what I call sort of prolonging the battle so that way you can get more experience. Because if I just cast fire, I'm not going to get any weapon experience for Maria there. So, by prolonging the battle, I can get experience both with her spell and her weapon in the same battle. And this is how, you know, I'm gaining experience so that I don't have to stop periodically to grind for levels. So, you want to uh, make sure you do that. Oh, darn, Maria lost some intelligence. Oh, well. I hate it when that happens. Yay, we made it to Bosk. Hmm, these people aren't saying anything. What are you guys, like zombies? Hmm, maybe I should do the same thing like these guys are doing. Emotet. Emotet. No. <laughs> okay. Now, um, this guy sells um, some other equipment, but I'm not going to use it for the most part. However, eventually I will want to get the silver plates. Uh, they're the first piece of light armor, so to speak, that um, actually has some more defense than... Um, then weight it has. So it'll lower your evade a little bit, but I mean, the defense is worth it, but not right now. I mean, I really don't need it, and I've got other things I want to spend the gill on. Let's see, they got uh, some other weapons here at the weapon shop, but I'm not interested, so. Ooh, who's that guy? He's the Dark Knight. Uh-oh. Better watch out for this guy. Apparently, he doesn't respond any to my keywords. Yay! idiots. <laughs> okay, so the magic shop is what the reason I came here. Apparently, even though they've enslaved all the people, they do not enslave the town shop owners. Or maybe they're just collecting taxes. I don't know. But anyway, um, you got some new spells here. Uh, mute, I'm not, I don't worry about. Fear, I don't worry about. They're useless, pretty much. Uh, Peep is essentially the Basuna spell. It cures temporary status sailments. But I'm not worried about that. The one I'm really more interested in is Heal. And I want to get that right now because I want to have something for uh, Firion to work on besides Cure. Because I don't really want to cast Cure during battle for the most part. Now what Heal does, it's a little different than other Final Fantasy games. I mean, it cures permanent status ailments, not temporary ones, only the permanent ones. The higher the level you have for Heal, 
the more status ailments it can cure outside of battle. At level 1, it can cure blind, which actually functions correctly in this game, unlike Final Fantasy 1. Um, it can also cure envenomed, not to be confused with poisoned. Uh, they, they're the same status ailment, they do the same thing and they display the same on your status, but envenomed is permanent. And uh, you can tell the difference between the two only at the time the status is inflicted on you. It'll say you were envenomed instead of you were poisoned. So that's how you can tell the difference. And also periodically poison might just cure itself randomly during battle. So now at level two, the heal spell can cure dumbfounded, which is uh, the permanent version of mute. Uh, at level three, it can cure curse. At level four, it can cure toad. And at level five, it can cure stone. Now, for now, you'll want Firion to practice heal once per battle, even if it just does nothing, uh, just to start building up on its level so you, so you can start curing those other status ailments later on. Now, this is critical to saving space on your inventory, because unlike future versions of the game, you can only carry one item per slot. You can't just cure, put two um, gold needles, you know, in one slot. You know, it's one gold needle, one gold needle, so... You know, you got to be careful with that. Now, uh, since permanent status ailments also prevent uh, stat and experience gains um, during battle, you'll want to try and remove them before the end of the battle. Uh, unlike casting it outside of battle, heal isn't 100% effective during battle. This is why you would uh, continue to work on heal after reaching level 5. Now, here's how heal works during battle. Uh, when you cast heal, or, or any spell for that matter, the game checks how many levels it has. So let's say it's at level 5. For each level, uh, the game will then check to see if that level succeeds. And if it does, then it adds a layer, uh, so to speak, a, a layer of the spell to its effect. So in the case of heal, you need as many layers of the spell to occur in order to cure that status ailment during battle. So. Uh, for example, to cure the stone status ailment, you need at least five levels of heal to successfully hit the target. Uh, this is pretty unlikely with a weapon and shield equipped, so um, um, because it'll hinder your soul bonus. So if you really need a heal spell to go through during battle, make sure to remove those uh, pieces of equipment from Firion before casting it so that his soul can contribute to its hit percentage. So there you go, that's how you get heal to work. So now that's everything I came here for, so um, let's head to Salmando. It's, um, let's see, yeah, that's the town northwest of uh, Poft there, so I'm going to just walk there again. Okay, after that battle, I just gained a um, weapon and shield level for Firion and uh, Guy there as well. So um, what I want to do is show you, see how his evade is 22%? The game hasn't checked that he has another shield level. So let's remove a weapon and re-equip it like that. And now it's at 28% since a bronze shield adds 5% uh, percent evade and his weapon adds 1% evade. So there you go. I also want to do that for Guy so that way he can get the added evade. So this is how you boost your evade a lot throughout the game. So we're going to keep working on that and let's make it to Salmando. Okay, here's another new enemy, Sprinter. Uh, similarly to the, um, oh, what enemy was it? The Soldier. Um, it's pretty hard, well, now it isn't, but at, with level one weapons, it's pretty hard to kill with your physical attacks because it has such high evade. Um, well, what I was hoping to do was just do the same thing against the Soldier, use my weapons during the first round, cast spells during the second round, but oh well, that didn't work this time. <laughs> oh well, usually they're harder to kill. There it is. Okay, we made it to Salmando. Let's talk to the people here. All the men were forced to mine mithril from the cave behind the Semite waterfall. It's southwest of here. Okay, well, I guess we don't need Joseph after all. This lady's in love with Joseph. Hmm. Where? Oh, there he is. 
Well, that is Joseph, so... Let's see if he can help us. No, we're not from the Empire. We're hired by Hilda... Hilda? Youngsters like you? Oh, man. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Mithril hasn't been recovered from the Semite cave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First, you're insulting us for being youngsters hired by Hilda. Now you want us to help you free your slaves? Screw you! The warship is huge. Oh, yeah, you knew that. <laughs> yeah, they put some sarcasm in here. It he doesn't know anything about the airship. Okay, well, I know where to go next, so um, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Next time, I will be heading to the Semite Cave. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.